Hi everyone, I'm Nick from the NixCast, standing dangerously close to an unlicensed nuclear reactor. Uh, I am at GenreCon here in Guelph with Cameron Shaver. Cameron, could you tell me a little bit about why I am standing so close to an unlicensed nuclear reactor? Because it's so safe. You're totally fine to come close to it. Okay. But uh, uh, So you're here with the Ontario Ghostbusters, and uh, we're uh, uh, hanging out, giving fans an up-close uh, look at some Ghostbuster gear, as well as raising some money for charity. Very cool. So what brings you to GenreCon in, in particular? I think I've seen the Ontario Ghostbusters. Uh, we might have even interviewed them at, at London City, one of the London Comic Cons. Gotcha. What brings you to GenreCon? Well, it's uh, it's definitely an uh, interesting con, which is kind of off the beaten track of the con season, which is nice to have a little bit of a, a winter con, a little bit of a smaller event, and it's outside of Toronto, which is always, always fun to kind of spread the geekery out across Ontario a little bit. And this is a really, really unique con. It's kind of uh, run by uh, uh, people who are in the con world and whatnot, other cosplayers, and so they, they run it a little bit different, which is great. Like, I, I don't think I've been treated better at any con that I've ever been to as a vendor and cosplayer and, uh, you know, someone who's part of the community. Very cool. So this um, this proton pack here, um, I know that for Ghostbuster fans, like, I tried to made, make one that was not nearly as nice as this. Um, is this something that you've made yourself, or could you tell me a little bit more about it? Sure. Um, so the Ontario Ghostbusters, we do have several prop builders who are involved and who build incredible props. Mine was not, I did not build my own because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So I'm not going to be able to build something to the quality that I'm willing to accept. And I actually uh, put together my uniform and uh, proton pack and then I discovered there was the Ontario Ghostbusters. So it wasn't, hey, there's the Ontario Ghostbusters, I want to join. It was, hey, I want to own a proton pack and fulfill a lifelong dream. And then I'm like, oh, there's also the Ontario Ghostbusters. So why don't we join up? Amazing. Uh you mentioned that there's a, a cause that you're here to help promote as part of the Ontario Ghostbusters. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so really the, the whole Ghostbusting thing is the loss leader to draw people in. We're the attraction uh, and it's great. And then any money we raise, uh, we donate to the Canadian Women's Foundation as well as Street Cats, which is a no-kill animal shelter. So, uh, you know, we're kind of uh, do, uh, leveraging our love of Ghostbusters to do some good. That is, that is really amazing to see different fanish causes working towards like greater good in the world. I'm, that's, that's just amazing. Um, where, the one question that I have before I, I kind of wrap this up is just wondering, you know, where can people find out more information about the Ontario Ghostbusters? Or is there anything that you want to say to the world at large? Uh, well, if you are having paranormal issues, you know who you are going to call. You know, we have very reasonable and competitive rates. You don't want to pay travel for the New York guys to come up. Tra Getting on an airplane with one of these is tricky. So, so you know, shop locally and hire your local Ghostbusters. Uh, if you do want to know more about us, we're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and you go to OntarioGhostbusters.ca for our official website. Awesome. Thank you very much, Cameron. Also, do you want me to address you in character or? No, well, just I'm. I, it's cause this, oh, just the whole, okay. Like it is my. Okay, I wasn't sure if you had like a separate. Yeah, no, you can just introduce me as Cameron. That's okay, fine. cool. Uh,